Tesh Dile and welcome to Tibet This Week. This is Sakina Bhatt with another edition of Weekly News on Tibet, His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Central Tibetan Administration. Let's look at the headlines first. Our Mother Earth is teaching us a lesson in universal responsibility. His Holiness the Dalai Lama on Earth Day. Central Tibetan Administration urges Tibetans to observe lockdown through May end, announces relief money for stranded college students. Kapje Kundaling Tata Krimpuche contributes over 5 lakh rupees to Central Tibetan Administration's coronavirus relief efforts. Office of Tibet, Japan and Taiwan begin campaign for 11th Panchen Lama's release. 82 organizations petition against China's appointment to the Consulative Group of United Nations Human Rights Council. Women Empowerment Desk and Tibetan Women's Association releases hotline for sexual and gender-based violence. In his message for the 50th anniversary of the Earth Day, His Holiness the Dalai Lama stressed on the importance of concern for the environment and said that the Mother Earth is teaching us a lesson in universal responsibility. His Holiness wrote that the current global pandemic that is affecting all of us without distinctions of race, culture or gender have reminded us of the value of compassion and mutual support. The Central Tibetan Administration urged Tibetans to observe lockdown through the end of May to contain the spread of the coronavirus. Briefing the press yesterday, President Dr. Lobsang Singe highlighted the undermined data on the disease in Tibet collected before March 17th, which makes 106 infected Tibetans inside Tibet. Likewise, Dr. Singe notified of around 100 Tibetans with COVID-19 positive cases in U.S. and zero cases amongst Tibetans in India. As the government lockdown in India comes to an end in the next week, Dr. Singe cautioned the Tibetans of scientists' prediction of rise in the spread of the disease in the first and second weeks of May. Education Kanlui Pema Yangchen announced relief money for the Tibetan college students who are stranded in cities due to the lockdown and ensured quality education for Tibetan students despite the school shutdown through online resources. This assistance is provided only to those students who are really in need of the financial assistance due to the COVID-19 lockdown. Uh, DOE aims to help uh, those Tibetan uh, college-going students in India who have been affected by this nationwide lockdown and have been left stranded in different parts of the city in India. DOE will provide help to around 200 students with a sum of rupees 5,000 each. Uh, so to apply for this uh, financial assistance, uh, you have to contact me or my colleague Tenzin Samdupla through phone call or WhatsApp. Uh, once you contact us, we will send you a link to be filled. In the form, you have to briefly explain us why you need the assistance and why your parents can't afford to help you at this time, at this critical time. Uh, to justify your uh, need, you have to upload a supporting letter recommending your need uh, from the uh, local Tibetan Student Association or Regional Tibetan Youth Congress. Finally, I would like to request all of the Tibetan college-going students to apply only uh, if you are really in need. Kapje Kundaling Tazar Rinpoche contributed a sum of 5,113 rupees to the Central Tibetan Administration to support CTA's coronavirus relief efforts. The outpour of Tibetan Buddhist leaders and public solidarity with the people and government of India in Huan originated coronavirus crisis has been extraordinary. More and more Tibetan public led by the Buddhist leaders and monasteries across India continue to help their district and state governments combat the COVID-19 pandemic. As His Eminence, the 11th Panchen Lama Gendan Chuki Nima turns 31 years old tomorrow on April 25th, the lesson office of His Holiness the Dalai Lama for Japan and East Asia has begun a month-long campaign 
for the release of the 11th Panchen Lama, whose whereabouts still remain unknown since he was abducted by the Chinese government on May 17, 1995. The Lyson office has sent the appeal letters along the lobby kits to 93 Japanese parliament members of the all-party Japanese parliamentary support group for Tibet, members of the Tibet support groups, Tibetan religion and culture centers, Tibetans living in Japan, schools and universities in Japan. Similarly, Office of Tibet Taiwan also launched a campaign to lobby the Taiwanese government and parliament as well as foreign embassies in Taiwan to support immediate release of the Panchen Lama and demand information on whereabouts of Chattel Rinpoche, the former abbot of Tashi Lumpo Monastery and leader of the search party for the reincarnation of the 10th Panchen Lama who was arrested in the same year. 82 organizations and associations, predominantly from Central and Eastern Europe, have submitted a joint petition for the cancellation of appointment of Mr. Jing Don, Minister at the Permanent Mission of the People's Republic of China, to the Human Rights Council's Consultative Group from 1st April 2020 to 31st March 2021. The joint petition was submitted to UN General Secretary Mr. Antonio Guterres, Chair of the General Assembly's Third Committee, Mr. Christian Brown, President of the United Nations Human Rights Council, Ms. Elizabeth Ticci, the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, Ms. Michelle Bachelet, and each of the 55 member states of the Asia-Pacific Regional Group, which nominated China to the Consultative Group of the United Nations Human Rights Council. The petition also noted that China's appointment to the influential group sends a discouraging message to all the Tibetans who have been raising their voices against the oppressive Chinese regime in their more than six decades of struggle and who continue to pin their hopes to the United Nations. Central Tibetan Administration's Women Empowerment Desk, in collaboration with the Central Tibetan Women Association, has launched a helpline service to provide immediate emergency and non-emergency responses and information services to women, children or persons affected by violence, especially sexual and gender-based violence, both in public and private spaces, through referral by linking them with appropriate authorities such as police, hospital, legal, etc. from a uniform phone number. Under the Central Tibetan Administration's Zero Tolerance Policy in terms of sexual and gender-based violence in Tibetan community, the Women Empowerment Desk has been working on the prevention of sexual and gender-based violence in the community since the last many years with the objective to create a more gender-sensitive and inclusive society. The headline number operates from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. from Monday to Friday. We have established helpline services in the Tibetan community. Since this is a pilot program, we are initiating it in the state of Himachal Pradesh and later on plan to expand it to other states of India where Tibetan settlements are located. Currently in this pandemic and lockdown situation, the rate of violence against women has increased. Therefore, in order to prevent such violence in the Tibetan community, we have initiated this helpline services. We provide counseling, legal aid services, safe space and financial assistance. Kindly reach out to us on below helpline number. So much for today. See you next time and have a great weekend.